Hey, Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com, and I'm so excited to share with you a sneak peek behind the scenes look at our latest program called Faith Inspirations. Faith Inspirations is a mixed media challenge that you will get every month. So you will get the challenge. And then if you're part of the program, you're going to get the printables and the video that comes along every month. It's pretty easy to do. It's not as intense as our momentum Bible journaling subscription program, which includes like all the things. <laughs> I think that one includes at least 10 to 12 videos every month. This one is one video, one challenge so that you can definitely get it done every month and you don't have to be a mixed media artist to do it either. These two things behind behind me, um, I show you in the first month how to do each of those step by step. They're super easy and I know that you're going to be able to do them. Basically, Faith Inspirations is designed to strengthen faith, encourage creativity, and inspire others to fix their eyes on the Lord. So in this challenge, you're going to get different printables that help you with the challenge. So the first thing you're going to get is the challenge. So the challenge is going to have a color palette. It's going to have words that to um, inspire you. It's going to have a list of ingredients to include in your mixed media project, as well as a key verse of obviously, if you're talking to us here at Bible journaling ministries, there is definitely going to be a verse that surrounds everything that we do. And this one for January is going to be Psalm 20 verse four. And so you're going to also get that verse and additional scripture on a printable that you can print out in PDF form. You will also get the core images. So the images for January, this is early release. So you can see is this one. This one's really cool. Cause she's got like plans in her hair, like plans in a journey, which is really around that verse. You get that in PDF, but what's amazing is you also get this as a digital stamp. So you're going to get this as a dot PNG file, which means you can put it on your traveler's notebooks. You can put it on cards. You can put it on scrapbooks. You can do anything with it. So you get that PNG file that allows you to use it just as a digital stamp, which means you can, um, so resize it any way you want without the qual um, without losing the um, quality of the image. Um, so you get this in PNG file as well as the PDF file. Then in the PDF file, you get the um, images for smaller journals or for smaller mixed media projects. You are going to get a stencil as well. So the stencil design is this one for January. It's hearts kind of goes along, of course, with the verse, but you also get it in a dot PNG file as well. So the stencil you're going to get in the PNG file as well. So that those of you who have machines like Cricut or Silhouette or Brothers Scan and Cut can cut them out as stencils. And you can see here that I've cut mine out on just a little divider that I, that I use a little, I think you get these for. I don't know, six for a dollar or something at the dollar store, super cheap. Um, so you can make your stencils really cheap, but of course, if you don't have that, you can cut it out by hand with a gyro cutter, or you can send it off to someone to do the stencil for you. And I will have those links for you in the program. Um, finally, you also get, um, other printable, other ephemera to use in your mixed media project. This is the one that I've designed for January. We've got a lot of fun in this program. Now, in terms of actually doing the project, basically what happens when you, when you get the project is you get your challenge sheet sheet. So once you get the challenge sheet, you basically look at the challenge sheet, you grab your colors, the colors that I'm using for faith inspirations are apple barrel, Walmart paint colors. So, um, I want to make it as affordable as I can for everybody. So that's why you're getting those particular colors. So you're getting them in the apple barrel line. You should use whatever you have. So in this example, if I say Tuscan teal, just use teal. If you have it, if I say pumpkin, use something that's orange. Um, if I say territorial beige, that means just use some kind of Brown. Um, and then what you'll do is you will grab your journal or canvas or whatever it is you're going to use. And you're going to start going through each of the challenges. So the first challenge would be to swipe some paint on your page. Then the next thing you'll do is glue down some scraps of paper and then on and on and on for the challenge. Finally, there are some inspired words to consider as well. So as you are doing your mixed media, you might want to start thinking about those words, maybe incorporating one or more of them into your mixed media challenge project. 
And of course, everything we do revolves around a Bible verse. So you'll definitely be reading that verse and meditating on on it as you continue on this challenge journey. Now you might be looking at this painting here and saying there's no way that I can do something as pretty as that. Gee, thank you, I appreciate that. Or you might be looking at my mixed media art and saying that's really cool as well. Well, they are cool, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but they, I do want you to know that these are designed and the way I've designed them in the course is so that anybody can do it. So it's not, this is not for artists. This is, if you are an artist, you can definitely use the challenge. You can definitely use the printables, um, but this is really designed for anybody of any level. So if you're a beginner, you don't even know what mixed media is, that's okay because we're gonna do it together in our videos. And so this one is just a simple trace with some carbon um, carbon um, uh, pencil, right? So basically it's a simple trace with some painting. This one follows the instructions exactly and I show you how to do it together in the video. So I hope that that is helpful. Every month you will get a video. I don't know if you'll necessarily get one that looks like this, or maybe I'll do something a little different like this, but you'll get one video every month that shows you what I'm doing. In January, I'm giving you a bonus video, so you're gonna get two in January, just to kind of get you comfortable with the program and comfortable with thinking outside of the box. So just because I do it one way doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are we launching this new program? At Bible Journaling Ministries, our goal, our mission is to help you grow in the word creatively. Momentum is our core program attached to that mission. However, we do know that growing that growing in the word, part of growing in the word means growing in your faith and having the opportunity to share the gospel with others. And we think by incorporating your art into things like paintings and journals and other things, right? That you can have the opportunity more, more opportunity to share the gospel with others. And so faith is inspiration is really just designed to do just that. When you engage in the word, you experience joy and peace. And by combining your faith with your creativity, it can be really healing. And plus there's no monthly membership fee like Momentum. Momentum is an amazing program, guys. Of course, it is designed, it has 12 different, at least 12 different videos. It's got technique videos, it's got devotions. You get a devotion, you get all the Bible journaling kits. It's an amazing program, but that program is a monthly fee attached to it. This is just a one-time fee for six months and it is different. So it is, it is going to stretch you a little bit more in, in terms of really tapping in to your creativity and you were designed to create. And I think sometimes we kind of push that down and, um, we don't honor that or we think that maybe we aren't you know, creative enough or we put up these roadblocks and I have just found so much that when I engage in the word creatively through my art that I truly understand the Bible more than I have ever understood the Bible before and so I take every opportunity that I can to read the word and engage with it creatively because that just really cements God's word in my heart and I, I do this for myself and I want it for you as well. In Mark 16 15 Jesus said go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Sometimes it's hard to find an opportunity to share our faith, but sometimes a simple project like this piece here, or even this painting here, or maybe taking these little printouts and putting them on a card can really spark a conversation. And so Faith Inspirations is designed to take the conversation out of the Bible and into the real world. And I really hope this program encourages you to grow in the word creatively and share your faith with others. So click on the description to see how you can get an amazing price on this program today. And I will see you when we launch this program, January 17th of 2020. I'll see you soon.